Nananatiling investigational drug o sinusuring gamot kontra COVID-19 ng Ivermectin, Remdesivir at iba pa na ginagamit sa clinical trials sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo. Ayon kay Philippine Society for Microbiology and Infectious Diseases President Dr. Marisa Alejandria, wala pa sa ngayong maituturing na miracle drug kontra sa sakit. Gaya na lang ng Ivermectin na ipinamamahagi ng ilang kongresista. Ivermectin is just one drug. There are other drugs that we have reviewed. There are already drugs that have been tried in big trials. So the management of COVID-19 is not like one drug will uh, kill the COVID-19 virus. So we all know that there are different stages. So we have the asymptomatic, mild, moderate, severe, critical. So for each of these stages, we have different sets of interventions that we need to give to our patient. Ayon kay Department of Science and Technology, Philippine Council for Health Research and Development, Executive Director Jaime Montoya, kailangan din anyang maunawaan ng publiko na magkaiba ang supplement sa gamot. Ang mga supplement na inaaral ngayon ng GUST ay gaya ng virgin coconut oil at melatonin na sumusuporta sa immune system ng isang individual, ngunit maling sabihin na ito ay lunas na kontra COVID-19. Pwede nang inumin, but not, wag lang po tayo aasa na just because umiinom tayo noon, eh siguradong gagaling tayo tayo ng COVID-19 na pinag-aaralan po yan. Bagaman aprobado na rin anyang Ebola virus drug na Remdesivir sa United States bilang COVID-19 treatment, hindi pa ito lubusang napapatunayan na kayang makapagpapagaling. Our assessment is, it's not, we do not recommend you to suggest against the use of Remdesivir for patients who do not require oxygen. So dun sa mild and moderate, hindi siya recommended. So we did not see any benefit in reducing mortality. So we suggest the use of remdesivir among patients requiring oxygen supplementation, but not those who are already in the critical stage. Yung sa naka-mechanical ventilation, wala na rin nakitang benefit here in that group of patients. Samantala isang take-home pill kontra COVID-19 na gawa ng Pfizer ang isinasa ilalim ngayon ng clinical trial sa Estados Unidos. Makatutulong umano ito sa paggamot ng unang mga sintomas ng COVID-19 at maaari itong inumin kasabay ng ibang antiviral drugs. Pusibleng makakuha na anya sila ng authorization at maging available na ito bago matapos ang taong 2021. Pag may bago naman, di ba, all of us would always want no, na makaka access tayo sa ganito para sa ating mga kababayan. So kailangan natin antayin hanggang makakompleto sila and if this will really provide evidence na talagang it's effective and then by all means no the Philippines will access these drugs for our population. Ayon sa DOH at Food and Drug Administration, anumang bagong tuklas na gamot o bakuna kontra COVID-19 ay kailangang mairehistro sa Pilipinas. Masuri ng mga eksperto bago aprubahan para magamit sa mga Pilipino. Ay ko Miguel, UNTV News and Rescue. Diyos ang aming sandigan. Serbisyo publiko ang aming pinahahalagahan.